look, a yak. Hey, Velvet, here's a fun fact. Yak tail hair is considered to be among the highest quality materials for a helmet's plume. Wow, really? Also, I don't care. At my house, we had this helmet. It was an incredible piece, covered with yak tail hair. The talk of the town. House Rangetsu has two treasures going for it, people would say. The helm of yak and storm howl. They must not have thought very highly of the rest of you. <laughs> hmm? Why do you say that? Although, I guess I can think of a reason or two. Oh well, it's nothing a demon like me has to worry about. All right. Orb. Orb. Oh. Items in the bed. Aha! There we go. Oh. Just steal his money off the ground. Welcome. Cold out there, isn't it? Come in and rest a while, don't you? No, I, I, I currently don't need to. Did you hear? That navigator for the shipping guild, Dial. He turned into a demon. He supposedly killed and ate his crewmates, then ran off. Demon Blight? In Helaviz? What do we do? No need to worry. Lady Teresa is already dealing with it. She'll hunt down that Dial character in no time. They say that once you change, you can never turn back into a human. Is killing him our only option? Killing him would be a mercy. Demons are just monsters who've lost their humanity. Yeah, you're right. Things like that aren't human anymore. Not human, huh? Lorecisme. Let's check on this. I'm not sure what the timer is for the respawn. No, it's not back. Okay. Oh, wait. Ooh, this cold is beyond ordinary. Well, Halavis is a northern country, but still, it wasn't this cold when I was a kid. The cold snow and ice were never this bad. I know it for a fact. It's that, what do they call it again? Uh... Global cooling? Yeah, that's the one. The Abbey says the world's getting colder. Thanks to all this cold, I need more warm clothing. Worse, I have to shovel snow and chop firewood all day. Ugh. Who's responsible for this global cooling? Let me at him. Well, don't look at me. It's not my fault. <laughs> Foreshadowing. It is her fault. Oh, children. Let me get this straight, Alpha Area. You want to form an alliance with my Gamma area to bring down the betas? Correct. It's oh. a classic strategy. Ally with a distant state and strike a neighboring one. What is this? A council of war? Amazing. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Is that it? Indeed. If your Alpha forces and my Gamma forces work together, beta area is done for. <laughs> I like it. You've got yourself an alliance, Alpha area. Excellent. We shall be victorious in this year's Helavi's Grand Snowball Fight. Let us toast to our victory. This isn't a snowball fight. It's a snowball war. <laughs> Fools, I was the one who engineered their alliance. Once they eliminate Beta Area, the Alpha and Gamma forces will launch a full-scale assault to destroy the other. Exhausted, the victor won't be prepared when my Delta army sweeps down upon them. They have sealed their own doom. These kids really fight dirty. All's fair in snow and war. I could hear the smirk in the voice actor's face. 
Uh. Good shit. Children are evil. I see a speech bubble. What a beautiful ship. Isn't she? She transports flamestone and sulfur to the capital in Midgand. Have you heard of flamestone? It's this new explosive material the Abbey developed. Thanks to their discovery, we can make some really powerful new cannons and explosives. Explosives? Sounds dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's also necessary. Not only are there demons about, but we've humans to contend with, too. With pirates and bandits in ever-increasing numbers. On the bright side, with the higher demand for Flamestone, Halloviz is prospering like never before. Flamestone is the only reason our little snowbound city is thriving. A keelhaul to anyone who says otherwise. So this ship goes to the capital. If I asked, could you take us with you? Nope, not happening. The guild ordered a total suspension of activity. We can't lift anchor. Besides, any ship carrying precious ores has an exorcist on board for security. You need the Abbey's permission. Sounds like they keep a tight lid on things. Yeah, I guess. But the Abbey makes the rules, so what are you gonna do? Without the Abbey, humanity would be dead in the water. A keelhaul to anyone that says otherwise. You sure like... <laughs> you sure like saying that, don't you, bud? Just adjust this. A keel haul to anyone who says otherwise. We're having pancakes for breakfast. A keel haul to anyone who says otherwise. Can I not grab these? Oh! Nice! Nothing but ice and snow as far as the eye can see. Are you cold? I'm fine, but I'm not the one with the exposed midriff. Doesn't bother me, either. And watch where you let your eyes wander. Hey there, sorry. I, I meant no offense. Hmm. So you still retain feelings like shame, then? Wait, you don't? Me? I've lost a lot of my human feelings. I figured that was just part of turning into a demon. I didn't know that. But deep down, I'm still the same person I always was. And I can still enjoy a good drink. I'm glad I haven't lost that, at least. If you say so. I'll drink to that. There we go. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. This should be restored. Uh, life bottles. Okay.
Where that there are giant beetles this far up north. I see a village. Let's go ask around. That leads down there. And this exists to give me orbs. Slow down there, Edgelord. Exorcist. Was that Dial she slew? No. It wasn't a lizard demon. Are you crying? It's just... everything that's going on. Demons run rampant in the Outlands, and yet the Abbey has explicitly chosen not to come to their aid. It's true we haven't the forces to be everywhere at once, and the people of the Outlands refuse to obey the Abbey's rules. It's a heartless decision, I know. But it follows from the Abbey's perfect logic and principle. Why make excuses to me? I'm not making... My name is Eleanor Hume. I am a Praetor patrolling for the Abbey. Okay, you're not... Your business you're not here? Nico. We heard there was a murderous demon in this town who fled from Helavis. The shipping guild incident, yes. I've been looking into it, but I haven't found any clues yet. Mm. Worry not. We will track down that foul demon and put it to the sword. Did the exorcist lady go away? Yeah, she's gone. Ah. The child oh, is good. evil. I didn't want us to get eaten. Eaten? I mean, I don't know anything about a demon. It's fine. You can tell me. I'll keep it a secret. I promise. There's a lizard demon in a cave to the north. He said he'd eat the whole village up if I told anyone. I'll give you these. Don't tell anybody, all right? Got it. That's a promise. Oh, boo boo. A cave to the north. Hmm. Gotta say, the folks here really don't trust the exorcists, do they? <laughs> hmm. This is actually rather good. What's wrong? A worm? Nothing. Can't taste a thing. Huh? Hmm? 
We learned what we need to. Let's look for that cave. Village used to sell silver, taking the cave out north. Now we trade routes lead to Helavis instead, so that we don't have much to do more. Oh, we can charcoal and raise yaks. That's one fine yak you've got there. <gasps> what an adorable face. You might not want to lean in too close. Hmm? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Is nasty. Get wrecked. That's why. Yaks ruminate the food they eat while they digest it. Their burps are one of the foulest things you'll ever smell. Same as cows and goats. Everyone who's raised livestock knows that. Uh -huh. I think that point's been driven home. That's a smell I never want to ruminate on myself. Uh, good boy. Punishing, punishing him for his hubris. Aha! That woman said she was patrolling for the Abbey. What's that mean exactly? They're hand-picked agents who traveled the kingdom gauging the Abbey's success in the demon fight. They also make sure the other exorcists are conducting themselves properly. I suppose you could liken them to military police. Since the Abbey imposes so many rules on the populace, they want to show they're above board. But if they need to police themselves, isn't that as good as announcing corruption in the ranks? Well, some would say it's more honest this way. Idealism alone won't change the world. Maybe that's why our determined little exorcist was crying. I bet you're right. That does fit the picture. Although it's best not to take a woman's tears at face value. Huh? <laughs> Just some common wisdom. Alright. So, did I get something special from that? Okay. I'll give you a hat as well. Everyone gets a hat. We all yeehaw. My father was a smith, and I sell the things he left behind. Okay. Sell. I don't need that. Actually, that's my first weapon. I'm not. I don't know what focus does. Sell any. for you Bowie knives it fits the aesthetic of the cowboy but not so sure okay your percent are lower not necessarily useful
That's an upgrade. Apparently you're high in focus, so... This village seems much more run down than Helavis was. This is where the Abbey sends its malcontents. Don't conform or accept the Abbey's rules or commit a crime, and you'll end up here with the rest of the refuse. And I take it the Abbey doesn't care what happens to this place. So, disrupt their precious order, and you get banished? Exactly. I'm sure they'd say it's all part of their notion of reason. Oh well, yeah, that exorcist Eleanor said something like that. After the advent, the exorcist showed up to quell the tide of demons and to restore the human world. But demon blight keeps spreading, and the only places they can keep safe are a few of the bigger cities. There aren't enough exorcists to protect everyone. When the going's tough, cut off any excess baggage. It's the rational thing to do. I suppose so, but it's too heartless. And that right there, that's the Abbey for you. Humans aren't livestock, and we're not machines either. That's why some of us here, myself included, chose to live here of our own accord. Hmm. Guess there are all types of humans out there. The important takeaway here is that exorcists are neither invincible nor infallible. Man, that's deep. Real deep. Anyway. Time for looting. I get through... no. Too fat. Orb. Ah, money. Not money, money, but money. All right. So I think that's everything in town. Wait. My granddaughter said she spoke with you. Hey, hold up. It's not like we threatened her or anything. Don't worry, I know. I gather you intend to continue your travels, yes? Then take this. It's nothing fancy, but hopefully it helps. Cooking. Okay. Activate its effects. How long does that last? Left is a list of recipes you've learned. Bread is each each recipe. Ingredients. Okay. Yeah, he reduces burn. Okay. Food's ready. It's nothing special. Uh, what cook every party all night? Okay. Ah, oh, now that hit the spot. <laughs> hey, Velvet, can I ask you a question? You can do whatever you want, but just because you ask doesn't mean you're getting an answer. So, about that whole apple thing. You can't taste anything? Not entirely. I can taste blood. Nothing else? Nothing. And I don't think I can feel full either. You don't think? You talk like you've never had a good meal before. I haven't. Not normal food, at least. Not since I became a demon. So, what have you been eating? Please. You were in that prison with me. Um... I'm sorry. Forget it. This is just what I am now. As long as I have a recipe, I can still cook. And now I don't even have to worry about how it tastes. I suppose. Food keeps my strength up. That's all I care about. 
Oh, oh yeah, the guy at that weapon shop gave me some booze for the trip. I nearly forgot about it. You really think it's a good idea to drink when we've got demons to fight? Yeah, A little drink will warm me up. I thought you couldn't feel the cold. That's true, I suppose. Well, I'm not drinking it anyway. I'm using it for something. Like what? Got some wounds to clean? That's one use for it, sure. But I've got something more practical in mind. By pouring it on the pegs that hold the blade and hilt together, the wood will swell and hold everything firmly in place in battle. You've got such a one-track mind, I swear. That's just the kind of demon I am. Okay. There we go. I'll cut down anyone in my way. Where's that bat? You're the you are. Get back here. I'll end this quickly. Victory is ours. Okay. Orb. The atmosphere is pretty good. Though I do wonder if uh, Velvet's um, condition is similarly a reference to folklore where some werewolves can't taste food, or rather, the food turns to ash in their mouths, and thus they can never feel full. But, who knows? Any more bats around here? Got items. Ah, a roctopus. Here I come. Is oh, okay. They're not called roctopi. Apparently, I was very skillful that fight. Oh, I don't like that noise. Yeah. 
Well then, let's move All on. Alright. Need to learn the timing. Did I just level up? Nope. Gotta be close though. The bars are anything to go off of. 500 money. Shame I don't have anything to spend it on. Now I level up, okay. True Velvet and Enchantress. Here? Form one. Oh, okay. I think we might be able to break this boulder. And people say I'm foolhardy. I'm serious. I think we can do it. Are we not demons? You have a point. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. What's that smell? Oil? Looks like it. I have enough for that. Rose Corsage. Wait. Yeah, sure. Looks like we're gonna learn how to cross gaps. Oh wait, we can't attack out of battle. Flamestone. What do I use it for? Hey, 
Get back here. There we go. We're finished here. Let's go. Always ready to fight. Hold on. Nice. I meant to do that. So it was tar we were smelling. Watch your step. You won't get out if you get stuck. Okay. Though I do wonder if these creatures are like endemic to this area or if this is just like you know, RPG logic. Chamomile? What's chamomile do? Focus. Okay. I get you all at the same time. Don't waste my time. Nope. Getting the hang of this. Hours. So is the bonus just random or hmm. Okay, I have to come at I have to come at it from the other side. Got it. Well, it does bear the question, what happened with the Abbey, like, between then and now, that made things so royally fucked? trying to attack outside of battle. Hold up. Deception. 
Missed. Damn it. Victory is ours. There we go. They respond behind me. Or oh, shadow daggers. That's kind of an upgrade. The numbers mean though. <laughs> Come on, really? On to battle! Good job, team. Don't really have much choice but to go this way. Hope it works. You know You're kidding me. Falling You're off a rock kidding me. Makes us stronger. I... I don't think that's quite how the saying goes. I'm going to jump. Don't fall and crack your skull. Okay. Oh boy, you look tough. Goofy Maz. Always ready to fight. Hold stop. Deception. 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 Deception.
I unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid it. A forward killer. <laughs> Mash out. Oh boy. Okay, this guy's tough. It's not with the fire. Okay. There we go. Finisher. Incapacitator. Diane Macaris? Allows aerial recovery in combat. You can jump in combat? Let's. Was there actually any benefit to that? Is that just for fun? I don't understand. You're a fine swordsman. Not as far as I'm concerned. I still have a long way to go. What sort of demon are you? A Yaksha. I'm a war demon. A war demon. Makes sense. And what about you? You're awfully peculiar, even for a demon. I'm a Therian. Therian? That's a new one for me. What sort of demon is that? A monster that feeds on foes to gain power. I don't know much beyond that. Hmm. A woman who devours her enemies. I bet your demon type is hag. Am I right? What? <laughs> <laughs> You've got the death glares down at least. 
Thanks, Roroku. I needed that. That was that was a good one. On to battle. <laughs> We're finished here. Let's go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> ah. Hey. What sword style do you use? Who taught you? I'm self-taught. For being self-taught, you're really good. Your fundamentals are solid, too. But then you suddenly throw out these kicks and all these other moves. It's really unusual. Like I said, it's my own style. What about you, huh? What's with those two swords? You say that big one is your life, yet you never even draw it. It's best that I don't. Huh? Is that part of what you learned at House Rangetsu? Yeah, we pay our debts. That's the foundation of everything we do. I don't get it. The sword is sentient. That's probably it. Or he's delivering it somewhere. Okay. Whatever. Not gonna think too hard about it because the game's just gonna hand me the answer anyway.
That one's mastered. That one's not yet. Uh, I think I'll go with the Blood Blade just because she's all about kind of losing damage to deal damage. So getting as much heal on the feet is probably really good. True Velvet. Title for what? Oh, I see. Okay. Crystal Kicks, Train Sword Arm to Blue. Chooses as she costs. Star level. That means longer combo chains. And then. Okay. True Velvet. Increases Dragger Duration of Star level. Paralysis by 40%. Hmm. Menu Maven. Menu time 24 out of 60 minutes. <laughs> wow, game. Way to call me out. We'll go with Furious. Roku. Stagger duration. Invulnerability time. Two seconds after swapping into battle. Not relevant to us because we can't really swap. Go with Dinosaurus. Not even right. worth my time. We can try about Maxi Free. Victory is ours. All right. Don't get overconfident.